What is up guys, I'm back again with another video and today's one I'll be showing you guys how anybody can draw this particular piece of artwork in Krita with almost no knowledge of creating digital artwork coming up. So before starting off with the video, I just wanted to mention that if you're interested in digital artwork, Krita, freelancing in general, you can consider subscribing because I make content related to that on a weekly basis. So yeah, you can subscribe, you can turn on the notifications and also we are very near to our 1k subscriber milestone. So if you can subscribe, that will definitely help me a lot. So yeah, with that said, let's get into it. So here we are in Krita. I'm using a canvas with a resolution of 3000 by 3000 pixels and I have two layers in my canvas. One of them is a transparent layer and the other one is a white fill layer. The white layer is locked by default. Uh, so just simply press the lock button again to unlock it so that we can add some changes in the layer later on. Now just make a circle using the circle tool with a black color selected. Make sure that the fill option on the right hand side corner is set it up to foreground color and just simply drag your cursor like this to make a simple circle. Now you can use the transform tool to adjust the location and uh, bring it at the center like this. Now in order to form clouds like structure what you can do is you can use the freehand brush tool. Make sure that the size is set it up to super high. And the blend mode option is set it up to erase. Now just start making circular dots in different sizes so that it will start to look like the outer structure of a cloud. Obviously I will be time lapsing some portions of this video so that you don't actually have to watch a 30 to 20 minutes long video for no reason. So after you're done with that just go in your layer blend option of your transparent layer in which your black dot is. Select the erase option instead of normal. After you've done that, now just simply press shift and choose both of your layers, the transparent one and the background one, press the right mouse button and select merge with below layer. So basically what it does is, it will merge the both layers and make it a single one instead of two separate layers. Now in order to make your background night sky sort of thing, you will be needing a new layer so create a new one. Make sure that it's your background layer so drag it all the way down. Choose a dark blue sort of color. and add this color in your canvas by using the fill tool. Now after our background is set up, adding inner clouds is fairly simple. Now just add a new layer, choose a freehand brush tool, make sure the brush size is set up to super high, select a lighter version of your color, uh, in my case it's blue, in your case it can be any other color palette. And at last make sure that the blend mode of your brush is set up back to normal instead of erase. Similarly using the same technique you can add as many layers of clouds as you want. But one thing you have to make sure is that with every layer added, the color of your cloud should become more and more darker. So after you're done with that what you can do is you can add shadows and highlights in your image. For that what you can do is for that what you can do is you can go to the top layer of your canvas, press the right button, go into your layer options and over here you will be having a lot of settings and options to manipulate your drawing. Just press tick the drop shadow option and here you have a lot of things to manipulate, a lot of settings to manipulate and a lot of things to change like the opacity of the shadow, the size of the shadow, the blend options and the shadow color. So let me get this straight, you can use this tool if you want to but I personally don't like it. I like to do it manually so I will be showing you guys how you can do it manually as well. So in order to make highlights and shadows manually what you can do is, use your airbrush, set the size of this airbrush to super high, let the opacity be little bit downwards and make sure that the blend option of your brush is set it up to multiply. Now the last thing you have to make sure is the alpha channel of each and every layer uh, you're working with should be locked so that you don't accidentally end up drawing anything outside your layers. Now simply just use your brush like this to draw soft shadows. Repeat this process with all other layers to get the similar sort of results as I'm having. 
So in order to add highlights in your image, obviously, you can repeat this entire process again, except what you have to do is instead of using multiply as your blend mode, you can change the blend mode to divide and just repeat the whole process, you will be getting highlights as well. Now adding stars to your background is also simple. What you can do is you can use a special brush which is provided by Krita itself. It's completely free. Search stars and as soon as you search stars, you will be getting only one brush which you can use for creating that background star effect. And the blend mode is set it up to normal instead of divide. So now just move your brush around like this and you will be getting tiny little stars in your background which are aesthetically pleasing but obviously they are not big and bright so in order to create bigger and brighter stars what you can do is you can use the airbrush make sure the opacity is pretty low and now start making dots with various sizes after you're done with that, you can add solid dots using your normal brush. Inside the dots which you created using your airbrush, it will start to look like a cluster of glowing stars. So yeah, this is how you can create this digital painting in Krita with almost no knowledge of digital artwork. So yeah, this is it for today's video. If you like the video, press the subscribe button, turn on the notifications because we are very near to a 1k subscriber milestone as I said previously. And also if you have any video ideas, comments or suggestions, I'll be answering you guys in the comment section down below. So yeah, as always, peace.